Greetings, fellow archivists, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story. Episode 117, Archive Power, Gear, and Pump. All right, so I cleared the here. So this is a pantry, I'm assuming? What's your knife? Would say yes. Some lime. Old vessels of food. Long rotten. Uh, not sure what this room is. A study? Oh, or something else. I'm gonna go with something else. Bunch of manacles on the floor and like, uh... Oh, were they eating people? Were they running out of resources and they went full Soylent Green here? Here's a book. Maybe it will tell me. And a Jonas subassembly, a difference gear assembly. So, the Diet of Kings. Master Jonas Fox, please come forth. The lords and ladies rose when he entered the room. Even the kings gave him small gestures of welcome. He walked to the center of the court, his attendant behind him, bearing a great collection of drafts. My lord, my lords, as I'm sure you're now aware of, we face a nightmarish threat. This disease, or plague, as it has been called, is not overly complex. Neither is it beyond our vision. It is, quite simply, desolation made manifest. Here his attendant began laying out a number of medical diagrams upon the floor. Master Falks issued uh, from one parchment to the next, gestured as he went. It rots the body in its entirety. It begins externally with a numbness and darkening of the skin, of darkened skin. Proceeding further into ligaments, the victim may lose control of their entire limbs. Eventually, their flesh sloughs off in small heaps. By this time, the victim has likely entered a cataleptic state. This may as well be a blessing for them. The rot will have overtaken their eyes and ears now, depriving them of their senses. Arriving at this last parchment, he paused and gazed upon it. Many of the gathered assembly also leaned forward to see the images more clearly. From the scribe's desk, it appeared only to be a drooping mass of charcoal smearings. This is all that remains of the poor souls. In its final state, the rot consumes the mind and body whole, leaving nothing left of distinction. Here his majesty, the king of Undland, interjected, Is there truly no method of treating this malady? What preventions are available to us? No preventions, your grace, save total isolation from the populace. Even such a drastic measure, a method, as that, will only last until the food supply is infected. As for treatments, I found none. Perhaps some of my betters from the academy have made progress, but judging by their silence, I think not. He paused again here and cleared his throat. It is certain death. However, I stand here now... Uh, I stand here now to offer you a better fate. Well, that's depressing. We got a, a well. That goes down. Some old stoves. It's too bad I can't have those stoves back home. Those look pretty nice. And these are the same commons I had explored. Yeah, that's the sawblade locust that I killed. Well, inventory's getting rather full. Might want to do another topside. How's my nutrition? Oh, it's amazing. Fifth, 25.7 hit points. 
So this is engineering again. Uh, let's return to the surface and relieve ourselves of the stuff. Again, a reminder. I have uh, cleared out residence archives in my own time multiple times. Nothing here is a surprise to me. But I, for the sake of your enjoyment, am not spoiling anything and pretending it is my first. So you needn't worry about like, hey, look out or any of that stuff. I, like, I know what's coming and uh, I'm a choosing to avoid the spoilers. Seems like it's daytime upstairs. Yep, it's almost noon. Ooh, it's it's warm compared to uh, now. It's also May now. It's May Day. Pretty cool. I got like uh, two gold ingots. That's enough for another line lantern. Really? The rift is still here? That is a persistent rift. Um, let's think. I don't need everything, like the dirt. I can huck. I probably don't need the horsetail after all, or the cranberries individually. Um, yeah, probably don't even need the flax. Where are the miner's pants? I'm going to throw the miner's pants out. I can take more of the bandages with me down there. Saving room for the miner's pants for now, at least. All right. Inventory is nice and tidied. You know, maybe I will take off some of the cosmetics. I don't think I really need to care too much about cosmetics, though, because I don't care about bling. The, um, the Resonance Archive is not procedurally generated. It will be in a random spot in your own worlds, but it, uh, it's of one design. The, for the most part, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go move some coal around. Like that uh, disgruntled employee was complaining about. So if we went down another floor, the stairwell is collapsed. Leave a lantern in the hand. Mm. 
no power. Oh. It has power now. I got the power. We got some lights. So it is missing a large temple gear. And missing a pump head. But power has been restored. Fancy. So you can see it's like a, a pit. All right, with power restored, how about the doors? Library, still locked. The bell workshop, however, door is open. Keep opening the food vessels as if they'd have food in them. Wishful thinking. Have I tried brown coal in the boiler? No, I haven't. Oh, getting a little claustrophobic. That's a bell. It's like an alert monster summoning in hordes of stuff. Can you unmute yet? No. Yes, you can unmute. A tuning cylinder, the Seraphs. Uh, so that was a bell that I killed. And, ooh, another temple gear. It summoned in quite a lot of holy hell. Corrupted and tainted drifters. This one. Yeah, can you get out of the webs? I can't even loot you if you're in the webs. Oh, another. Oh, more temporal gears. Gears galore. We got turnip, parsnip, and carrot seeds. Don't really need those. More rusty gears. Bunch of iron plates. I mean, 
Yep, I don't mind if I do. Not like you guys were using it for anything nice. All down here were terrible. Trying to murder me and all. Flint, rope, saltpeter. I don't really care about any of that. Tyrant, thank you for the, uh, the resub. Ladders, hematite, rust gears, and zinc. Another temple gear. I'm, I have quite a lot of those now. Can you butcher the bell? So in this game, uh, mechanical things like bells and locusts uh, drop their loot immediately when they die, whereas drifters need to be skinned. Drifters are like organic, whereas non-organics like locusts and bells don't have, they aren't skinnable because they don't have skins. So this was a bell workshop. So now I guess we know what bells are. And I don't like them. But they were building them here. Oh, keep getting hung up on everything. A large temple gear. Well, I do believe that engineering we needed one of those. And a scroll. Apologies, Florian. We've been dealing with a shortage of supplies regarding the generator. I mentioned already uh, that broken pump. We've also found an issue with one of the gears just this morning. Naturally, I've repaired the gear already and need only to reinsert it now. But there might be some delay before we can requisition a new pump. Uh, thought I heard something. Um, okay. I'll watch the entryway. Um, uh, I shall ask Wade and his team if we might repurpose one of the devices from the mines. So there is potentially a pump in the mine. But I suspect he will loathe to be part of it. Uh, to part with it. In the meantime, I fear that there will be some disruption to the mechanisms running these archives. I know the scribes find it unpleasant, but you'll have to enter the library through the maintenance room for now. Don't worry, he won't bother you. Ibrahim. A uh, forlorn hope grieves, and another Jonas part. There's just bells all the way down. These old broken chests which can't be opened. Ugh. Go. Yeah, I went down there. Hmm. It's broken with a durability of 500. I don't know what you mean by broken. It's only protection tier one. I'm only I only grabbed it because it's like rather unique. But the rather unique stuff that serves no purpose is some of the first things to get thrown out. So that's exit. That's the library. And you'll have to enter the library through maintenance room. So library entryway is was broken, but potentially the pump and the gear fixes it. Alright, let's 
We're just missing a pump head now. Uh, I am going to do another return to the surface. My inventory is pretty full. And I'll probably have to make some decisions about what to keep, what to toss. There's a lot of stuff that's easy to toss. Like cosmetics and gear that I'll never use. But we'll see. Nutrition is staying pretty high up. I mean, I'm losing dairy, but there's nothing I can do about that. Preferentially, I would like to keep the... Um, I would like to keep the scrolls and things, as they are unique. Whereas, like, as nice as it would be to have, like, iron plates, you know, I can always make more iron plates. I can't make a scroll that is you know, hundreds of years old, or however old it is. Little creepy to be eaten in the dark. <laughs> wow, you're still there. Okay. Persistent. I'll give you that. Uh, metal parts will stack. Gears will stack. So, minstre old minstrel hat. I can toss. Marketeer mask I will toss. The black card stuff I'll toss. Minor pants I'll toss. Even the flax fibers I'll toss. I have a bunch of flax grown at home. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can hold on to the twine. I could stack the uh, plates out of the chest, yeah. Some things are, like, placeable on the ground. So that's always an idea. Like, plates. Uh, even the crocs can be placed on the ground and some other stuff as well. Maybe I could do that. Saves a little bit of room. Uh, salt Peter, I can get rid of. Glasses. Yeah. Even the bowls. I don't need the extra bowls. One bowl is enough to keep me fed. So here we go. Inventory is nice and tidied up. Down we go again. So now we are looking for mines. Because it's rumored to have the Wade has a pump head down there. And also, J is journal. So anything that you've read, you can review here.
So we have circumnavigated um, the engineering level, if I'm not mistaken. But I will do it one more time to make sure we haven't missed anything. So we've gone to the commons. Gone into the garter robe. Not that there was much to see. It's just two toilets. Gone into the nobles' quarter. Then we're back at engineering. Okay, here it goes. Geronimo. It's a creepy looking room. This is the reservoir. Huh? Probably could have guessed that, given all the water. So we've got waste. Okay. I'm not sure what I expected to find in there. And it breaks. Okay. So going left from the reservoir or clockwise or whatever leads nowhere. That seems to drop off to nothing. So this is the collapsed staircase I couldn't get past. And this is the translocator room. So there's boxes of blocks, iron, construction blocks, pottery, cobwebs, granite stone. What is Ashlar? Just a fancy granite. Ruined static translocators and a repaired one. I think we're in the mines. Chests of mining stuff. Blasting powder. Ow. Yo! No one said you could touch my butt. Off limits. Bad touch. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. Seems like things are a little aggressive down here. If the bell was bad, we should expect it not to be fun down here either. Zero percent servings. Hmm. It's like Tic Tacs. Serving size, zero. So I'll set some torches up. So that if I need to switch to the shield, we can. Uh, let's just make sure that this is takes me back. Yep, this is the same room. That's a lot of flax twine that I've found so far, you mean? 
Or was there flax wine down here that I didn't notice? Oh, in one of the chests? Oh yeah, it is a lot of flax coin. Doink. Probably they were using it for blasting charges. Uh, I cannot place my lantern anywhere in here. I can throw it, though. And pick it back up. Nothing is placeable in this archive. Like, nothing. I can't take anything. I can't leave anything. Alright, so we have a fork. I'll go right. It goes into water. Which... Leads to some quartz. Now I understand at this moment why they needed a pump head. Because this place was flooding constantly. Pretty useful when you need water for survival. But not useful when you're trying to mine. Oh, obsidian. That's, I think, the first time I've seen obsidian. I've lost my point of reference of where... That's a lot more flexed one. Where backwards is. You know what I could do with this flexed one? Might seem a little wasteful, but it's not a terrible idea, which is, um, pair some of my clothing. Oh, this is wool. Okay. And this is fur. Oh, wait, that's not even how to repair. It's like that. There we go. There. My clothing's in better working order. Uh, that's a lot of coal. All right, so we're back where we started. Got it. Come on. Come on, you rotten fested slough bag. That's what Jonas called you. How does that make you feel? Oh boy, that looks like fun. They have overrun my lantern. A nightmare drifter. Good. I killed it before it hit me. Tier 4 drifters are, uh, they hurt a little bit. On scale of 1 to 10, it's like a, an 8, maybe. Ow, not one of you again. Don't heal. I'll be back for you.
Oh. And you dropped metal scraps and another Jonas part. Bunch of hematite, but ultimately a dead end. I think. Yep. You can see why I wanted good gear before coming down here. It's doable in less solid gear, but like you're not gonna have a good time. Oh, I've been picking up random black hole. Uh yeah, you can have it back. Hello, friendo. Sounds like another locust. Maybe a saw blade. Kind of sounds like a saw blade. Is there a torch holder somewhere? No? Yes. It's my last torch. My last free torch, unless I start retrieving other ones. I've been using them like Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs a little bit. But mostly just so that I can switch to my shield. So... We have a pump head. Okay. Well, I didn't see... What was his name? Wade down here. So we're just going to borrow it without asking. There is a lot of materials for new torches. You are correct. But we got what we came for. Or blasting bomb. I don't mind if I do. And alley -oop. Actually, you know what? Blink. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch, March 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs.